Welcome back to another episode of the N Word News. It's me, your boy Q. Chantel is still on vacation, but she should be back next week. So, all right, real talk, no cap. Our president out here, like, making some unwarranted suggestions as far as people's health go, telling them to sanitize and disinfect their insides. Like, that's just, that's crazy. Um, don't, don't listen to that shit. Like, it, it don't sound right. Like, the majority of people know disinfected sanitizers, all that, those are good for like surfaces, not the inside of your body. Like, don't, don't let these people play with your life. Like, it's, I don't mean to sit here and laugh, but it's funny that some of y'all, and I don't say y'all, like, just, all right, let me change my wording. Some people are dumb enough to believe, to believe in this. Like, that's, that just blows my mind. Like, with, that, uh, we just finna move on. Like that shit's <laughs> damn, that shit's stupid. Um Governor Kemp is still adamant about working, I mean about uh about opening up the uh, Georgia, even though he's getting pushed back from other politicians such as the mayor of Atlanta and uh a few weeks ago the mayor of uh Tybee Island. He's still pushing for Georgians to get back to work. I'm gonna say this, it's your health. And you know your fi- you know your uh, financial situation, so you got to make the best decision for you. But also, don't be selfish and put people at unnecessary risk. I mean, yeah, if you got to go to work, go to work. But after work, take your ass back home. Um, that's just what it is with that. Like we all need to be safe out here, and not. Not take this time for granted, like like I always, like I've been saying in other episodes, you know, use this to further further yourself. All right, to some more uh, humorous content. White people going wild, like this quarantine got their minds just messed up. Like they they really out here wild and going crazy. Um, it's actually a thing on the internet right now where the word Karen is being said to be the equivalent of somebody saying the N word. Notice what I just said. The word Karen is being used. It's it's said to be the equivalent of somebody calling someone else the N word. Now, ask yourself, why did I feel so comfortable saying Karen? But I refer to the latter of the two words as the N word. Now, me personally, I don't have a problem saying nigga. But let's not pretend that if I were anybody else sitting up here, they it might not come off so so casually. So. To put it best in the words of John Milani, if you're comparing the badness of two words and you won't even say one of them, that's probably the worst of the two words. Musical news, uh, apparently Kanye West, I don't know if you're still rocking with him or not. Me personally, I'm kind of in the middle. It depends on what he does. Um, He's a a billionaire now. Uh, He actually took it upon himself when they released the the figures and they kind of misjudged his uh, net worth. He called in and said, hey, y'all said I'm worth a billion. I'm actually worth three point three billion. Get it right. When you got that kind of money, you can do shit like that. But it also makes you look like an asshole. Not that Kanye ever had a problem with people looking at him as an asshole. What are you going to do? Fritz Montana and Young Thug uh, going at it. At first, it seemed like they were getting into it because French Montana said his music catalog could be compared to that of Kendrick Lamar. As far as like the versus battles, he said that if he was going to do it, he would he could see himself going toe to toe with somebody like Kendrick Lamar. I don't have a problem with him saying that, because if you don't believe it, how can you expect anybody else to believe it? So he has to believe that he is the best, no matter who his opposition is. Now, on the offhand, Kendrick and French are two totally different artists. If I got to pick which one I'm going to listen to, it's Kendrick. It's more sustenance. It's more make you think French is more like I'm finna go out, have a good time. Their, their catalogs are different, but they're both great in their respective genres. Well, young thug actually had to have an opinion on this and said that, uh, he must be on drugs and, you know, just fucking up, fucking stupid. French didn't take too kindly to that. They kind of went back and forth. Uh, as the story progressed, got a little bit further into the weekend. Apparently it is about French Montana having tried, Young Thug's uh, fiance. Just goes to show you that 
a woman can always end up being a man's downfall. <laughs> All right, so for those of y'all who are fans of Fortnite and Travis Scott, they collaborated on having some kind of uh, some festival, like showcasing a lot of Travis Scott's music. Me personally, I don't fuck with either, but shouts out to him because that's big for any artist to have done that. Um, but I'm a COD boy, so if Call of Duty decides to do shit like that, I'll tune in. But I can't get with the Fortnite with shooting at somebody and they building some shit to protect themselves. Like that's speaking oh. of hiring, because ain't we still on? Yeah. Yeah. So you like that transition. Speaking of hiring, the voice actor Smurf out of Houston is looking for work. So if you got anything that needs voice acting for, hit them up. Mystery Lakes Visions, is, uh, the photographer out of Atlanta, is doing uh, shoots right now. OK Fitness is still selling out her online workout videos. And lastly, Align Therapy, which is the plant plant therapy company that sells natural healing oils for your skin and other ailments, is booming. So if you have a problem with your memory, remember everything that I just said. Links will be in the description below. And just like that, we out. Tune in next week for more N-Word news.